What's up, Yugi Tube? It's Buckley. Uh, I haven't been on in a while. I've been spending a lot of my time uh, writing for TCG Player now, at least trying it out, uh, seeing if they'll have me. So go ahead and jump over to TCG Player and hit up our articles, uh, anybody's articles. There's a ton of great writers on there. Well, mainly Buckley's. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to talk about my wind-up build. Um, it's a fairly straightforward wind up build with a couple of variations. After starting with like Harold and then jumping the Dino Rabbit for a little while and fooling around with other stuff, I've been settling on this because it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of options. But we'll start with the basic wind up engine of the deck, alright? We got Triple Shark. It's practically my favorite card in the entire deck. I mean, I don't have to talk about why Shark is amazing because he just is. Uh, Triple Rat, you have to have it. It's just it's self-explanatory. It's a great top deck. Um, now, where my deck variates a little bit from most other wind-ups, wind-up builds is the fact that I don't have three rabbits. I can't afford three rabbits. Um, so I tried something, and I'm substituting in three soldiers. I really, really like this card. One coupled with um, well, another one of himself or a shark, he's an instant five, and I really like five because a lot of the trouble that windups have when um, facing something is they can make and swarm a big field, but they've got a huge problem being able to overcome like just one huge monster. So this guy coupled with shark instantly go into Adreus, pop something, or Tyrus, or something else, and you can even sit for a minute, or you can go into Zen Mayo or Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja if you really need defense. I really like this guy, and for those wind-up players who, because all the other pieces are relatively affordable, who don't have Rabbit, if you don't have Rabbit, try this guy out. See what you think. Uh, Double Magician. It's great when you got it with Shark, but not so much great without a lot of other stuff. He's good when you've already got Field Presence, but he can be bad to start with. And then one Hunter. And I put Hunter last because, honestly, the hand loop isn't a huge, like, thing for me. I mean, it's great, and you would be you would be foolish if you play this deck to undermine its ability. Uh, but I'm a much, I'm more of a fan of swarming and being able to make big pushes. Um, double effect failure, it's effect failure. Uh, double T King Ryo, uh, yes he can conflict with, um, with, uh, Wind Up Factory, but it's just all about how you go, it's about how you handle it. I mean, T King is still, it's a great card, you know? Um, two Snowman Eater for a little bit of pop power. He's unexpected, um, and he can definitely throw some people off guard. And then a Sangin. It's Sangin. Two Factory, self-explanatory. Two Duality, also self-explanatory. Yes, the deck special summons a lot, but sometimes it's good to be able to slow yourself down. Because uh, you can go too fast, and you can end up blowing up too soon, and then next thing you know, you're dead, and you've got nothing left to do. Gotta have the pot. Yep. Uh, yeah. That was in no way, shape, or form. Uh, endorsements of drugs. We've got two gold sarcophagus. I call it that because nine times out of ten, I'm going for shark. Econ, I love it. Uh, it's super versatile. Book of Moon, Double Smashing Ground, Pot of Avarice, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and Monster Reborn to finish up your staples. Now on to the traps. We got Double Bottomless. It's bottomless. Fiendish Chain. It's great and with the reprint. It's affordable to everybody. A deep prison, a torrential, a solemn morning, and a starlight road to finish up my traps. Uh, for the extra deck, it's incomplete, as is a lot of things. Um, a Zen mains, uh, one of the best pack pulls you could ever have. Leviathan dragon, uh, it's a Leviathan. Uh, double Zen mighty, yes, I know the deck needs to run three. Eh, I'm working on that. Acid golem, he is a godsend of a three, especially if you just want to go ahead and swarm the field. Um, if you have three of these, then that's even better, but you can just, especially if the field is clear, Zen Mighty, Zen Mighty, Zen Mighty, Acid Golem, and swing for nearly game, assuming they don't have any damage. Uh, Zen Meister, he can be good if the situation calls right. Double Utopia, um, it's Utopia. Don't have a C39 yet. Gem Knight Pearl, he's great. 2500 is a benchmark number. Uh, in this format, and he's just over that. The only thing he can't stop that you'll consistently see is Red Eyes Darkness Metal. 
photon pappy operative, the rare that would totally be worth like five times as much as it was if it was any shinier. Uh, Double Adreus and Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. I would totally have a Tyrus in here if I had a Tyrus. I have four. Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, and Stardust for that Starlight Road. Uh, so that's my deck, guys. Just to be on the lookout for a couple other uh, videos that you'll see in the future. Uh, we've got the uh, zombies that was that's on TCG Player right now as this video is being filmed. So if you're not looking to wait for the uh, for the video, you can go check out my article, uh, which I recommend. It pushes zombies in a different direction, more centering towards ixing and seeing how they work out. Uh, Banish Fish, so much fun. I'm so excited to finish this deck. I've never had as much fun playing a deck as I have the build that I've got of this. And then I'm fooling around with Grave Keepers. We'll see. But uh, go ahead and like, rate, comment, troll, subscribe, whatever you need to do. Team No Fat Chicks, this is Buckley, out. We're getting professional with real people. <laughs> <laughs>